Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am joined by Alexander Sokolovich. That's correct, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's is. correct. I practiced multiple times. Uh, Alexander was the fourth place at the, um, it was it the East Europe qualifier? And Italy. Yeah, East and Europe Italy. and Italy. Oh, okay. And you participated in the Remote Invitational with one of the most spectacular decks that was featured at the entire event. You played Madolce. Just the yes, same yes, deck I... that you played in the qualifier as well. Uh, quite yeah, the deck. deck. Yeah, yeah. The same deck I also played on the Yu-Gi-Oh Day, which got me the invite to the qualifiers. Oh. Okay, so full consistent run with Madolce. That's nice. Yeah, so, um, yes, of course. Let's first talk about the uh, the Invitational itself. Um, sadly, you didn't go to the top eight. Uh, you lost your match due to a, a very strong Zeus being hit on the field. Uh, but how was the event for yourself? Yeah, well, the event, the organization was actually uh, much better than I expected because, uh, to be honest, I really didn't think that the equipment would get to me on time because I live in Serbia and, as most of you probably know, Serbia isn't in the European Union and mail just takes quite a lot of time if it's international. So, yeah, but everything came on time, the playmats, the sleeves, the equipment, the tripod, the camera, everything. And uh, people from Konami were very kind. They helped me set everything up. And the tournament itself uh, went uh, <laughs> kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, of course, Marco is a great player. And the Virtual World is a great deck. Jesus was quite unexpected. Uh, game one was, uh, was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as some would call it, a statistical anomaly. Yeah. Um, if you want to rewatch Alexander's a feature match you can check it out on the official Yukio page. Uh, it's a shame that there were so many rogue decks that were just like so many players just bricked round one, which was so unfortunate. Like it was such a weird event. Like it would have been so cool to see a deck like Madolce go further. Um, yeah, it was it was quite unlucky. I actually practiced a lot. I played online, played uh, IRL, and I probably brick like maybe one in ten games. So uh, the deck itself uh, is pretty consistent, I mean, with uh, the new Pot of Prosperities. But yeah, hands like that are going to happen. Sometimes you're going to draw Cyframe Driver, double Grave Digger Strap Hole, <laughs> and unplayable so, cards. Sometimes you just draw them. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Yeah, it, it's a shame that uh, it happened on stage. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so you've been playing this deck for the last uh, three big events and tested it online as well. So why did you uh, pick this event for the Invitational? Uh, I actually been playing the deck for nine years. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing uh, since Return of the Duelist, and uh, it's just the deck that I feel most comfortable most comfortable with. And I can play a lot of different decks. I have uh, Invoked Shadow, Dogmaticas. I have Dry Trunks. I could also I could have also borrowed Virtual Worlds from a friend, but uh, to be honest, I really didn't feel comfortable playing any of those decks. And Madolce is just uh, the deck that I've been I've been involved with for nine years. So. Uh, they actually have a decent matchup against everything, pretty much everything. I mean, of course, uh, VFD, uh, nobody has a decent matchup against VFD, but no, yeah, everything yeah. else is is pretty fine. I also run some unique cards, and uh, yeah, you, you'll see soon enough. Yeah, but Madolce, is, they're great. They got new support last year. They got new support two years ago. And I'm, I've am i been spamming Konami with emails, asking for more support. <laughs> Not sure if they even read that, but uh, in case they do, and in case they see this video, please, Konami, uh, give more, Madolce more a new more. spell card that searches any Madolce card. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, a, a continuous spell that lets you double summon uh, wasn't enough, uh, clearly, obviously. Uh, no, I, all I want now is actually a consistency boost. So just a spell card once per turn that searches any Madolce card, yeah. that would be like the best thing ever. A Magellana that doesn't require a normal summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that I've, been be playing, I've been playing against this deck for such a long time now. It's such a sleeper deck. It's always good. And that continuous spell, the Salon, it boosted the deck so much. And yeah, it's it's no wonder you would have picked this if this was just your favorite deck. It makes a lot of sense. And I actually yeah, think that was... even for this event, it was quite good because you did have a pretty big chance of not playing against uh, VFD. And I think that. That might be your worst matchup. Or... Yeah. Uh, well, uh, if I can stop VFD from entering the board, yeah, it would be it would be fine. Uh, to be honest, uh, game one would also been fine. Would have also been fine if I had a starter. So uh, the only starter I, I opened was Madolce Angeli, 
and I had to discard it with Herald of the Orange Light to prevent the second DFD from coming down. Yeah. So uh, I had to discard my only starter, and then uh, I had three turns. Uh, I, he used GG twice. I used Grave Diggers twice, but uh, for three turns I just couldn't draw a single starter, and I have like ten of them in my deck. So just unfortunate. Yeah, it was quite unlucky. Yeah, yeah. quite unlucky. I have uh, no doubt that with nine years of experience with this deck, that your list is probably the best Smudolcha list out there right now. And oh, we're going to do uh... a deck profile in a bit, and we can talk about specific cards there. And after the deck profile, we will also talk about the deck for in the future after the ban list, because I am sure that this deck will only get better once VFT is finally gone. So Yeah, yeah. They're definitely going to get better. And I also have a quite a special, a quite a special uh, engine for Madolchis that I'm going to be testing starting tomorrow. Um, a sneak peek, it's going, it's going to be Madolchi involved. Okay. It actually, Interesting. it actually has quite a nice synergy. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we can get into the deck profile. Yes, let's go to the deck. So, okay, guys, let's get into the deck profile. And for the main deck, we have the standard Madolchi lineup. We have three Magilim. She's your searcher of the deck. When she's normal or flip summoned, you can add one Madolce. She can also add herself. Uh, and it's not once per turn, of course. You have a triple Angeli. She tributes herself to special summon a Madolce from the deck. And you have three Pettingses. She can special summon herself when uh, you don't have any monsters in your grave. And when she's special summoned, you can special summon one Madolce from your deck, but reduce its level by one. And she locks you into Madolce's for the rest of the turn. Some of you may remember she was played in Ad Emancipators, but uh, nobody used her second effect, so they just used her as an Earth body. Yeah, and then the rest, so. of the, Madol yeah, the rest of the Madolce cards are a uh, double good kick. Uh, you, if, you go, if you use a go second build, you will probably run three good kick, but going first, you really only want two. You, you basically only want one, but knowing my luck, I would have, draw I would have drawn the, the one copy, so I had to put in two. <laughs> and then... Uh, Double Messenger Gelato, uh, two is the perfect number. You can't play one because you won't have full combo. Uh, three is too much and it clogs. So uh, most people think Messenger Gelato is a brick, but uh, most people don't also don't know that if you open double Messenger Gelato and one petting says that's still full Madolce combo. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, the one pudding says, so she's your combo enabler. Without her, you also can do full combo. So yeah, that's pretty standard. Uh, 14 Madochi monsters. I'm not sure if anybody runs three Messangelatos or any less of Angeli, uh, Magellan, and Pettingsis. But yeah, if somebody has uh, any suggestions, of course, let me know. I'm always open to, to new ideas. So the hand trip lineup is actually really big and it's uh, a bit different from the one I used for the qualifiers. Of course, the standard cards are three Herald of Orange Light, which is probably the best hand trip in Madolchis because uh, you can play through Nibiru. You can play through interruptions, and you have a lot of fairies. Uh, your Puddingses, Pettingses, and uh, Angeli are fairy, so it helps quite a lot. And, uh, of course, you have Triple Ash. And the cards I decided to run uh, for the Remote Dual Invitationals were Dimension Shifter and Gamma. So, uh, well, Gamma is Gamma. It's a pretty powerful card, but uh, Dimension Shifter actually... A skips turn for most decks. So if you play Madolchis, you can play around Dimension Shifter quite easily. You can also, if you're going first, manipulate your grave so that you can end up with no cards in your graveyard. And during the end phase, you can just use Dimension Shifter. And Dimension Shifter will only be uh, active for your opponent's turn, and uh, then you can combo off. Even if you use it uh, on their turn, and if you if you're under Shifter on your turn, you can still go full combo. All you need to do is... Uh, Activate Shifter, chain your Madolce Teacher so that the, the detached Exceeds material stays in Grave, and then you can go full combo. So yeah, Shifter is pretty great. Uh, it's sad that I didn't draw it, game one or game two. But yeah, yeah uh, Shifter is probably going to stay in the main. Gamma is probably going to go, and uh, Herald and Ash are going to stay. So that's uh, just my train of thought for the upcoming format. Yeah, it seems like so a that's... very solid, strong, diverse lineup. Yeah, to be honest, I still want to test out some Diddy Crows, some uh, maybe Impermanence, but yeah, everybody knows that Impermanence is uh, weak against Virtual Worlds and Drytrons, so yeah. I'll have to think about it quite a lot. 
So yeah, that's 27 monsters and spells. Of course, triple salon, that's your double summon. Uh, it's much better than Brilliant Fusion that everybody used to run. And uh, yes, Brilliant Fusion died so Madolchi Salon could live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, the, the one offs, Madolchi Chateau and Ticket, uh, you really don't want to see them. You always want to search them with your Messenger Lotto. But uh, yeah, m my luck is really bad and I always happen to draw them. But yeah, you don't, you really, really don't want to run more than one. It's really unnecessary. And to round off the spells, you got uh, triple Art of Prosperity. Art is just the best spell card that currently exists. Everybody plays it. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, the double Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, didn't want to run Twisters. I don't think anybody play, played Twisters in Madolce in the past five years. So, yeah, Cyclones are good, uh, to be honest. Might even uh, uh, remove them from the deck because... Uh, if the, the meta here is uh, nobody plays Eldritch, so I don't really need them. And against Virtual Worlds, they're, they're a nice interruption. If, of course, uh, they want to, to target a spell or trap with a Virtual World monster, you banish it and that's game. And, of course, against Eldritch, you just banish uh, the Scarlet Elixir, the, the Hokero, and the uh, Conquistador. And, yeah, yeah, Cosmic Cyclone is great. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, 10 spells. And five traps, of course, uh, double Madolchi Promenade. So Madolchi Promenade targets a face-up card your opponent controls and the Madolchi monster in your grave or on your field. You negate their card until the end of the turn and you return your card into the hand. And of course, when you go full combo, you will end up with uh, your ticket and your salon face-up on the field. So when Promenade resolves, both ticket and salon will trigger and salon can reset your second Promenade so you have it for your next turn. And uh, ticket will special summon your petting cess probably, which will then special summon your pudding cess, and you will end up with your empty grave, and your Madochi knights will be live. Uh, it's a counter trap that negates a monster effect if your graveyard has no monsters in it, and then if you control Madochi pudding cess, you can shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand back into their deck. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they also have a, a similar card just to negate spells, but yeah, I, I thought that Madochi knights for this meta was, was much, much better. Okay, yeah, and, seems solid. And the final two cards, of course, are two Grave Diggers Trap Call. Uh, you run Raflesia, helps you play through Nibiru. Uh, I run two because uh, if you make Raflesia and uh, use her effect on your turn to protect yourself from a hand trap, uh, if you run only one, it's basically useless on your opponent's turn. So if you run two of them, uh, you can have an interruption on their turn. And uh, yeah, if you happen to draw one, you can still activate the other one from the deck with Raflesia. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the trap lineup, I wouldn't change it. I probably won't. Uh, the spell lineup might get changed. But yeah, yeah, for pure Madolches, for invoked Madolches, I have something different in mind. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so let's get into the extra deck. Uh, of course, uh, triple Madolche Tiramisu. Uh, shuffles two cards, doesn't target. Best rank four. Uh, second best rank four, Madolche Teacher. Shuffles two cards, but from the grave, doesn't target as well. Mm -hmm. Also also great. Uh, and of course, the, the, entire, the entire combo relies on Chocola mode, because both of her effects are not once per turn. Uh, her first effect is a soft once per turn. But yeah, you can constantly loop Choco and bring out like six, seven Madolchis. Yeah, it, it's a really great card. So she has two effects. Her first effect is to shuffle one Madolchi from your graveyard back into your deck. And her second effect uh, is active only if you have Pudix as, as, a, as an Exceed material. So anytime a Madolchi monster is shuffled back into the deck and you have Pudix as, as an Exceed material, you can detach one monster and special summon a Madolchi from the deck. So nice. she, can, she can do quite a lot. And of course, uh, the last Exceed is Raflesia for Grave Diggers. And then just some cards to fill it up. I have the Omega for uh, Gamma and Driver, the double Madolchi Seastart. And uh, the last two cards are uh, Nightmare Phoenix for utility and uh, Salomon Great Almirage. So everybody's probably wondering why am I playing Almirage in Matolchis? And the reasoning behind Almirage is, uh, as I told you like three times three times already, my luck is pretty terrible. <laughs> so uh, what happens is I draw hands like this. Okay, so you can see uh, Ash, 
could kick and so on. And of course, you know how this goes. You normal summon Ash, link it on the Mirage, <laughs> double summon, go for could kick, banish Ash, and that's full combo. Yeah, that's the only reason I run Almirage. You can, of course, switch it for something else, but uh, yeah, my luck is bad, and I play Almirage. <laughs> I think I think it makes sense in a deck like this to have like a final like strategy in case it doesn't go as planned. Like Adam Emancipator played it like that as well, and it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mirage is actually a lifesaver, and uh, it came a lot while playtesting, so I decided to to stick with it. And uh, the side deck, of course, uh, is uh, double Lancia. Might uh, swap the Lancia into the main deck. Not sure. I switched it uh, into side deck because I wanted to main shifters. But uh, Lancia is also a fairy, which helps out with Herald. And uh, it doesn't skip turns like uh, like the shifter does, but it's it's still a great card. Uh, yeah. Also, we got uh, Bebop and Rocksteady from Ninja Turtles, uh, <laughs> Pankrodot and Gamma Seal, and of course, Humongous. Now, I just run double Kaijus. I just want two different names, so my Kaiju is always stronger, of course. And uh, then the staple, of course, Dark Roller no more. Everybody runs this in every deck, so why shouldn't you? Uh, then, of course, uh, double K Trunade and uh, one Feather Duster. Uh, I run the double Trunade because uh, it either forces uh, Eldritch to activate everything, or they they will have to return the cards to their hand, and then they won't uh, be able to, to banish them on their turn to set their cards. So it basically sets them an enti the entire turn back. And Feather Duster is Feather Duster, of course. I probably would run Lightning Storms, but I don't own them, so so yeah, <laughs> that, that's that. And the last cards are triple evenly matched and a red reboot, which are right. probably yeah, self-explanatory and uh, not much to say there. Yeah. It's a pretty high number of back row disruption cards. Uh, yeah, well, uh, also my luck, like I said, is pretty bad, and I happen to lose the dice roll quite uh, quite often. So uh, for side, uh, if you lose it, uh, game one, it's not a big deal. Because game two, you build your board and win, except like I did in top 16, where I got Zeus twice. Uh, but yeah, game three, if you're playing against, for instance, Adi played Palio, and a lot of people played Eldritch, of course. Uh, if you go against four traps, it's really tough to get through that, because... Yeah. Uh, you mainly have like one or two starters, and you really, you really need that uh, oh, that uh, that wipe. So you need uh, you need to clear it. So you need uh, dusters, you need hate trunades, you need cyclones. But yeah, of course, I would I would also like to run lightning storm. But yeah, all, all in due time. Exactly. All right. So now that we know a little bit more about you and about the deck, uh, what's it for, what's in it for the future of Madolce? So for the future, uh, like I said, I'm planning on running Invoke Modolches. Uh, it synergizes quite well, uh, a lot of tech cards and uh, a lot of great combos. So of course, you, Alistair is a normal summon, a lot of Modolches are a normal summon, but it synergizes so well. If you want to see the deck profile, it will be up in two days on my channel, Madolche Message Gelato. The link will be in the description. Yes, I will put it in the description. Definitely. All right, so uh, unfortunately, you couldn't get to the Eight yeah. of the tournaments. It yeah, would be yeah, nice I... to see a little bit more rogue decks in there. Um, but it's still an amazing feat that you made it this far with Madolce. It must still be a great feeling with all the goodies that you've got. And I'm sure that we'll great. see you in future events. Are you qualified for the next qualifier already? Oh, didn't, uh, didn't, didn't play any tournaments. Uh, exams came up. Uh, a lot of other IRL things came up, so I didn't really get the chance to play. Not sure if there are any qualifying tournaments left to play, so uh, yeah, no, I maybe. I don't think so, but there will be yeah, more events so, in the future. Yeah, so I will probably skip the next one because yeah, college is a big deal, takes a lot of time. But yeah, yeah, probably I don't know in half a year, maybe. I'm not sure when the next one will be, but yeah, you'll definitely see me, and of course, I'll definitely be running Madolchis again. Nice. All right, cool. So again, the link is in the description to your YouTube channel. Be sure to go check him out because this guy is probably top of the game with Podolce, uh, as I've seen from now. And again, congratulations with your invitation. And Thanks. still top 16 of Europe. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Thank right. you. Thank you. Any shout outs you want to give? Or... Uh, 
just just a quick shout out to everyone from the Facebook group, Yu-Gi-Oh! Trade Sale Balkan. Everybody there, a huge friend, a huge fan. I watched uh, the VODs from the game. I saw everybody commenting. Uh, I, left, I left a lot. So thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. Uh, I love you all and see you in the next video. Right. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.